Hi students, my name is Amir Pimparker and I'm a Microsoft Technical Trainer based out in Sydney, Australia. In this video, we will be talking about how to create Azure resources on the Azure portal. To begin with, you can jump on the page which is mentioned, which is aka.ms slash az900 slash sandbox. Now, once you're on this page, you might see the following exercises. For this lab, we will be clicking on the second one, which is creating an Azure resource. Now, once you click here, you might see the following page. Don't forget to sign in to activate your sandbox. Now, once you've signed in, the sandbox might take some time to get activated. And if you're seeing any errors, refer to the first video where we actually try to create the sandbox. Now, once your sandbox is activated, it will show some success here. That means requesting to the Cloud Shell has succeeded, and now it's trying to connect to the terminal. Now it says, welcome to Azure Cloud Shell. That means the connection to the terminal has succeeded. Now, once this has succeeded, click on sign in to Azure portal. Now, once you click on this link, you will be redirected to the Azure portal, which looks something like this. Now, once you're here, don't forget to see and check that your sandbox is activated. Now, in this lab, we will be creating an Azure resource. And for a resource, we will be choosing a virtual machine. So let's try to create a virtual machine. So once you click on the virtual machine icon, it opens up something like this. Because we want to create a virtual machine, let's click on Create and an Azure virtual machine. Now, once you're on this page, choose the subscription to be the default one, the concierge subscription the resource group to be the learn resource group. You can name your virtual machine anything you want. I will just name it my VM. And for the authentication type, choose it to be password rather than the SSH public key. For the username, you can choose anything. I'll just use Azure user. And for the password, choose a password of your liking. You can confirm the password. And there we go. Now for public inbound ports, don't allow anyone for now. And just click on review and create. Now once you click on the review and create, it will run some final validation and see if everything is correct. Now once the validation is passed, you can click on create button and create your virtual machine. Now, it might take some time, around two to three minutes, for your virtual machine to get deployed. And you can keep checking the status here. Okay. Now that the deployment is complete, we can go to the resource. Now, this is how our virtual machine looks like. Now, our virtual machine has, the creation of a virtual machine has succeeded. You can look at the public IP, the private IP, and the other details. But let's hover on back to our home, our home portal, and try to select the resource group. So in our resource group, you can look at how many resources are created. So you should be able to see a list of resources in the resource group. The storage account and the virtual network are associated with the Learn Sandbox. However, the rest of the resources are created when you created the virtual machine. By default, Azure gave them a similar name to help with the association and group them in the same resource. Congratulations, you've now created a resource in Azure and had a chance to see how several resources get groups on the creation. Now it's time for cleanup. Now to clean up, delete the resource group. So just delete and type the name of the resource group. And delete it. But thank you so much for joining me in this lab and have a good day ahead.